Hello folks, it's Paul Stranger. Today I'm doing my another top 10 TF2 list. This time it's my top 15 Team Fortress 2 weapons. Now these are the weapons or buildings I have looked on the workshop and I picked out maybe interesting to show. If you want me to do a top 10 Team Fortress 2 weapons 2015 or another top 10 list maybe related to Dota or CSGO with the workshop items I will kindly do so so comment down below I may do a top 5 and then ask you guys at the end if you want one so with that said link in the description for all these items if I butcher the name I have dyslexia and global underlay which fucks with my reading and writing and saying things so if I can't read it's because of that, and I'm gorgeous. So, with number 15 is LED Confrontation PDA. This is an interesting PDA. We don't really get PDAs that often. We rarely get them. We rarely get any buildings. I think the only new building we ever had was the Mini Century, and that was it. We basically got nothing new from the engineer to build. Everyone knows the weaknesses and strengths of the sentry guns and the mini sentry. And we got all these nice PDAs and buildings the community has made, and Valve hasn't bothered adding them in. So come on, Valve, add them in, and I may reconsider changing my mind about you guys. So with number 14 is the Die. Ugh. Die. DIY, the DIY. I don't know why I said die for some reason, that's a bit weird. But maybe that's how the way it's said. This is a rocket launcher for the soldier. It's a pretty interesting one, I have to admit. And it's a basic model. I guess it would have an interesting stats, you can say. Yet again, you don't really get a lot of the weapons in the workshop because people know that Valve don't barely have them. And usually, when they do get to add them, they usually give them a. Uh, well, you know what I mean. So, in number 13 is a invisible watch called the Creator Balanchon. I just screwed that up horribly. But if you can say that better than me, then congratulations, because you don't have dyslexia. So. This is a Invisi watch for the spy. It's very interesting and lovely. We don't really get invisible watches that much. I think it's rare, like the buildings. Yet again, it would be nice if Valve add more of these type of weapons because we really need new weapons for the games, even though they are trying to fix the old ones. Uh, the fog is a bit OP. <coughs> Any case, though, so, um, with number 12 is the. Tide bring. I'll just call it a tide because I will butcher the name anyway. It's a melee weapon for the sniper. Yet again, don't get much melee weapons for sniper that often. But it's a very interesting one. Very pirates themed weapon. And it really is actually pretty nice. And modeling is great. You know, it's actually pretty good. And obviously, with the cosmetics, it's. It's really nice when you have the weapon which matches the cosmetics. Because that's a great thing. Because everyone likes weapons with stats, not reskins. So number 11 is the... Sharpland... Sh I think I'm going to butcher this name as well. I'll just call it the bullet gun. The bu because it's a giant fucking... A giant beeping bullet. Which this weapon looks pretty... Sick and just damn amazing. A lot of poor hard work into it. And obviously, the person who created it, kudos to them, this is pretty good. Apologies for butchering the name and swearing there for a bit. Yet again, if I butcher the name, dyslexia, because I have to remind a lot of people. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. But, great weapon. So, at number 10 is the old reliable. There we go, a name I can actually say instead of butchering it. It's an engineer wrench, yet again we don't get wrenches that often. But it's a very interesting wrench. wrench. I, I, for some reason just gotta go went or rent or well, how the beep I was gonna say it. 
Ugh. You know, I just hate butchering names. You know, it's an interesting wrench. I would like to see it in the game. And, you know, we don't get them that often. So, yeah, come on, Valve. Add these weapons in. So, at number... Well, nine. It's the... I'm going to call it the needle weapon. It's a sort of like a... The bone saw. As you... I presume you hit a player. And you can see right here. You've got empty. You've got full. And it's for the medic. Suits the cosmetic as well. I guess it would be an interesting weapon. Like you can hit an enemy. You take some of their health. And then you put it into your teammates. And it would be kind of cool actually. To have something like that. But we do have the Crusader's crossbow. And many other weapons. But hey ho. Valve could randomly add it. Even though they haven't. So and number 8. Is a... Sort of an SMG for the sniper. I'm not gonna. I'll just say the last name of it the carbine. Carbine, yes, carbine. There we go. I hate which one names. It's an SMG for the sniper. It's a pretty darn good one. I really like it. It has that World War II vibe to it with some of the soldiers using it. I don't know which country it commonly it was used. Maybe Australia. I could be wrong. Or more or less, Sam. But. This is a really nice weapon, and I would like to see it in the game, and an interesting stats for it as well. Now, at number 7 is Warfare Shotgun. And it's a shotgun for, obviously, the Engineer, Heavy, Soldier, and Pyro. Interesting stats, I would say, if it has any, if Valve do add it into the game... But it looks pretty darn amazing. And I will say it again. If you're like, can this guy even read? Or he can't pronounce things right. I have dyslexia and global learn delay. I know it's getting quite annoying them to me to remind you guys. But there are some people who don't listen. Believe me. But pretty amazing weapon. So at number 6 is the Energy Sentry. This is a sentry gun. That uses lasers. So it's pretty much like a ma cow mangler. But um, 10 times more dangerous. And I like how it's modelled. There's even ones for the mini sentry. And it, it is the normal buildings. Except with freaking lasers. Lasers. This should have been added in, in the invasion update. If they added this in the invasion update. Then... I wouldn't care if it was a reskin for the buildings. That would have been sick. I would have been satisfied. I'd be like, take my money, Valve. I would have been satisfied. I screwed that up. Alright, and number five is the Pi Co A lot of these names I can barely freaking read. My apologies. The future is now. It's another Invisi Watch for the Spy, a very futuristic one. As we can see on the right, it's a weapon for the Spy, and then the revolver it suits it pretty well. This particular watch can actually glow in the dark and obviously other special things about it. Excellent modeling. Would be nice if we saw it in an update. Maybe the invasion one, hint, hint, but that's already long gone. But a pretty good watch. And sorry for butchering the name. Embarrassing. So this is an unusual type of weapon. The belly buster. At number four. The way this weapon goes is that you place it on the ground and it goes to usually the 5 to 60 seconds. And any player that is near the bomb just blows up like this scout. Dies horribly. And so just like, what the f- And the heavy's like, what? An interesting concept for a weapon, I guess the idea is that you place it somewhere that you know a player's gonna go by. The player goes- And then the player goes by and then BOOM! They're dead and it says right here. I guess it would have a simple damage radius, like its own, but hopefully it won't be spammable. So at number three, the Scottish War Gear. Now this type of item is from, I believe, from a certain um, project that these group of people are making, it's an NFBM project, and 
An interesting shield, yet again we only have three, which the Titaner was the newest of the shields, and they completely buffed and nerfed in the shields. But this would be interesting to see in the game. If they had a gear sword, then I guess it would be very robotic, I have to say. Being a ghetto, pretty good we weapon. Now this one has been in the workshop for a very long time, the mini dispenser. Now we have a mini sentry, but why don't we have a mini dispenser? Now to Valve, I guess it would kind of make sense that an actual dispenser would be better. But you, most of the time you won't have time to put a full dispenser. It'll blow up. So having a mini sense dispenser out and ready to heal teammates, it will be a lot better. It'll be quicker than a normal dispenser. So come on Valve, add it in. We want to see some new buildings into the game. You know, give it some spice to make it interesting again, like you did by adding new weapons of the past. So at number one is the... I'm going to butcher this name. I'm just going to call it the Badass Rocket Launcher. That's what I'm going to call it. Don't criticize me. This is from the Iron Gauntlet project, which is being created by the community. This is just one of the sickest rocket launchers I've ever seen. It's pretty badass. It's got its own rocket model. The, the model's pretty, pretty amazing. So it looks like it shoots two rockets into it. So I guess it would like have high damage and fire, fire. Bleh. I just screwed up the name, but I'll let you guys decide what the stats would be. So with that bliss done and over and screwing up so bad at pronouncing names, which I normally do, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you want me to do a Dota 2 list or a CSGO one or even a Rust list of top fives, top tens, you want me to do weapon specifics, collections, you know, anything you want me to do, just comment down below. Also, what do you think of the weapons and what stats would you give them and which weapons would you really want to see in the game? Because. As we all know, Valve added a lot of weapons in the past, and then suddenly they just got a bit lazy of adding them. Except for the except for gunmetal. Um that about it. Or maybe more. But okay, so I hope you have a good day guys, and I'll see you all next time.